Good morning. My name's Angus Kennedy. I'm the editor of Kennedy's Confection magazine. I think I've been coming to Cologne since I was about 19 years old or perhaps even 10 years. So I've been coming to this place for a long, long time. We're here, we're going into Pro Suites. This show has become established as possibly one of the main shows for the confectionery industry. It's a good meeting place and uh, it's now in its fourth year. So um, after having written about machines for a long time, I think that this is well worth a look if you're coming to Europe and you want to check out what's going on in machinery and equipment for confectionery. This is uh, Thomas Bassin of the German Packaging Institute. Um, he's going to tell us all about LOHAS, which is a very interesting concept in the way the industry is moving forward in the way of the packaging and consumers and what they're looking for. So the German Packaging Institute, which is one of the major packaging networks in uh, Germany, uh, together with the Köln Messe, had the idea to make a special show. And we took out a topic which is called LOHAS. And what we are basically doing here is that we would like to enhance the dialogue with the branded companies, with the confectionery industry, how to design packaging uh, to have a consumer-specific um, okay. uh, communication. Uh, and, so th 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 and that's within lifestyle, health, sustainability. Did you design this product? It looks, uh, looks very interesting. I mean, I've got a seven-year-old daughter and she would just die to play with these things. So wh where did you come from that idea as a designer? How important is designing packaging and, and how do you go about creating a pack like this? Yeah, I, I think this is an example of, of sustainability in its pure form because what we did is we designed the packaging for some sweets and we did it by, the, by using the right materials, of course, but on the other hand, to create a second life for packaging, to make it a toy. At the moment you empty these boxes, you can put your finger in it and you can bite to each other, <laughs> like animals. Hello, <laughs> tell me about design. This is the latest innovation from Schubert, it's called the Trans Module and um, it's, uh, Joe will explain exactly what's going on here, I think it's, it's really clever if you look at what's going to happen here. Right, so the drays, as you will see in a second, the drays are loaded there, the drays are positioned with or by this uh, Trans Module, right, yeah. which is uh, a robot basically running on this uh, rail system. This is a revolutionary uh, innovation. Yes. As in the future, Schubert machine will change over automatically. Right. Now here they come. Look at all these bunnies. They're all coming, flying down the line. We've got to organise them. <laughs> <laughs> we make truffles full automatic. So this is a truffle filling. We are robot in chocolate. And full automatic, you have the nutties around or the cocoa powder or shavings like you want. So one man make in one hour between 30 and 25 and 30 kilos truffles in one hour. But the combination with uh, the ESM, it's, it's a top hit. All the businessmen in the chocolate and the sweet business, first they visit upstairs and they, then they come downstairs and they see how you can make it. Yeah, the Robert Robotic Track Line is the uh, first uh, complete consortium a team to produce complete packing chain process. We are beginning with to bring uh, primary product in the package uh, box and with uh, uh, helping by robot systems and uh, machinery under automated uh, basic. 